Just posting a new video to show uh, Mac OS 10.8 Goldmaster running on my original 2006 Mac Pro 1.1 1 .1, and this will also work on uh, 2.1s. Um, as you can see it's build 12A269 which is Goldmaster. Um, I've upgraded the firmware on this to that to be a Mac Pro 2.1 and also the processors have been upgraded to quad cores from the original dual cores. Um, this is done by having a separate disk which runs um, which runs Chameleon um, and that disk I've also partitioned um, as you can see here in disk utility when it loads up. Um, it's just taken a while because I've got some external drives attached that have gone to sleep. Um, yeah, if you look here, there's this 700 gig drive I'd line about. There's a boot partition there which has got Chameleon on it, and an installer partition there which uh, has a copy of the installer files from the 10.8 installer, but it also has a modified OS install.mpkg which has got the model identifier of this Mac Pro added into it because otherwise it would detect it and it would uh, fail to install. Um, I've also upgraded the graphics card to um, HD5770. The original 7300 GT will just not work, you'll get kernel panics. Um, but uh, these are relatively cheap. Um, a lot of people also use flashed or even unflashed PC graphics cards. I find the trick is to uh, stick to something that's shipped by Apple and you're less likely having less likely to have problems. Um, the 5770 in mine is a genuine Apple one but uh, if you bought a similar reference design card and the cable to connect the power up it probably give you very few issues. Uh, the 5870 should also work quite well. Um, I had an 8800 GT in there, didn't work so well so uh, this is the way to go.